Hello, this is Jim Michaels with the Hickler Heights Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee. I'd like to share with you just a brief message from the Word of God. You know, the Hickler Heights Church here in Lewisburg is striving to be just like the church that you read about in the Bible. You know, we're trying to be that church that Jesus purchased with his blood in Matthew 16 and verses 18, where he said, I will build my church. It's his. It belongs to him. Paul, in writing or in talking with the uh, elders at the church at Ephesus, he made this statement. In verses 28 of Acts, the 20th chapter, he said, Therefore take heed to yourself and to all the flock among which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers to shepherd the church of God, which he purchased with his own blood. That's the church that we're striving to be, the one that he built, the one that he died for, the one that he purchased with his blood, the one that he's the head of and the savior of that particular body. In Ephesians 5, in verses 23, Paul writes, he said, For the husband is the head of the wife, as also Christ is the head of the church, and he is the Savior of the body. That's the church that we're trying to be. We're trying to be the Lord's church. It's the one that he built. It's the one that he died for. It's the one that he purchased with his blood. It's the one that he's the head of and that he's the Savior of that body. It's a church that follows the Bible. It uses the Bible as its standard, as its guide. Peter said in 1 Peter 4, in verse 11, he said, If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. That's what we're striving to do. Everything that we do, everything that we believe and practice, uh, we uh, strive always to base it upon the Word of God and what God's Word has said to us. Our worship is very simple. It's following, once again, the pattern that's given to us in the New Testament. Jesus, in talking with the woman at the well, said this in John 4, verses 23 and 24. He said, but the hour is coming, and now is, when the true worshiper will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. He said, for the Father is seeking such to worship him. What kind of worshiper is God seeking? Those that will worship him in spirit and in truth. Spirit is with the right attitude, and truth is according to the truth, or according to the Bible. Then he said in verses 24, he said, God is spirit, and those who worship him must, look at that, must worship him in spirit and in truth. You know, that's the kind of church that we're striving to be. We're striving to be the Lord's church, the one that he died for, the one that he's the head of and the savior of the body, the one that speaks where the Bible speaks and is silent where the Bible is silent. One that always bases what they do, what they believe and practice upon the word of God, that worships God in spirit and in truth. So we'd love to have you to come and be a part of the church that you can read about in the Bible. Thank you for listening.